some things I'd like to talk about are defensible space. There are several things that homeowners can do to have good defensible space. Um, you can clear around your lot, put down gravel on the ground, get rid of all the needles, all the dead limbs, the dead wood. It's a great idea to space your trees out so you don't have a tight tree crown together. And also limb those trees up to get rid of the what we call ladder fuels, which is the lower limbs, which if you have a ground fire can carry fire all the way to the top of the tree. So remove the lower limbs. Other things, build with a firewise material such as a metal roof. If you, if you can, cement and steel is a great building material. There are also uh, several other options to build decks out of. Are not prone to burning down in the event that embers land on them. Also, other things that you can do is uh, your lawn furniture. Take it off your porches, you know, put it in your house if you're away from your cabin or your home. It's always just something that can save some time from an ember landing on it and catching it. Another, another thing to remember is to move the wood pile off the porch. Wood piles are very susceptible to embers and have resulted in a number of houses that had good defensible space still burning to the ground. So it's always good to remove flammables away from your house, check your roofs for any needle thatch, or if you have gutters, check your gutters as well. Basically look for those, those things that if fire doesn't get here directly, that uh, if embers fall from the column and land on your property or your home, it still may have a good chance if you uh, take some precautions and do some cleanup around your house and on your home.